Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in creating your own mobile application, whether it's for Android, iOS, or maybe even a web app, but you don't know how to code or you don't want to pay anything, you've come to the right place. Now, this video is going to be all about assessing limitations to this series because I want to be as transparent with everyone up front. So stay tuned. By the end of this series, you will have a fully functional social slash sharing app, and we will post it to Google Play. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you where I actually download this particular application from Google Play and run it on my device just to show you that it is fully functional. And by the end of the series, you should be able to do the same thing yourself. Now, let's go ahead and get started assessing limitations to this particular series. So I am firstly not going to cover how to require users to authenticate emails. I provide a resource to a Udemy page. I'm not endorsed by them nor by the person who created that content. But it's a great resource if you want to learn more about securing endpoints and requiring users to have an authenticated email to sign in. What does this mean? That means anyone can sign in with any email address and password combination. It is going to require them to have the same username and password that they used when they originally signed up. So you can't just change the password randomly. So the idea is I don't have the email address a at a.com, but I can use that in the password testing to sign up for this application. It will require the same email password combo to sign in, but I don't need to verify that that email address is mine or that it's even valid to, to sign in. So again, that could be a limitation, but that Udemy page has a ton of extra resources on that. Next up, there is not going to be a file sharing element to this application. Because I'm trying to make this completely independent from AppGyver's backend resources, we are going to be essentially setting this up using Firebase. I think AppGyver is a great platform, but just to make sure that we have everything kind of separated, and there's really no big reason for this, just for ease of use for you so that you have complete and total control over your backend database. So there's no file sharing component, but there is going to be an image sharing. However, we're going to be sharing image URLs, not image files. So the idea is users will be able to make a post about for this application, a specific type of coffee, they'll be able to post a pub, like a picture of that coffee, but they're not uploading the file. They will instead be saving the URL and the application will pull up the image. So it's going to give the appearance of file sharing, but there is in fact no file sharing element at all. Lastly is the security piece. So the database that we're gonna be working with is completely open. Anyone with access to the application can see anything, read, write, etc. So it's open policies, meaning there's no security element. So if you can sign into the application, you can basically access any page. You're not going to know what you've posted, and you're not going to be able to differentiate that from what any other user has posted. So the idea is everything here, once a user logs in, um, everything is accessible to everyone, and anyone can update anything. That's kind of the general idea. Now you can change if there's an update page or not, but the idea here is it's just designed to be totally open and accessible to every user in the community. So that would be the general idea. Now the tricky part with this is with no security policies, anyone with the information for your database can access and make API requests. So even if a user isn't authenticated, if they can figure out the information for the database, then uh, so they don't even need like the login info, they would basically be able to do API requests to post, delete, um, and alter data. Now, again, that sounds a lot more ominous than it may be in some cases. If you need an app that has heavy security, then you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you look into additional resources to secure endpoints. The whole point here is you can log in with any email address. There is no file sharing, but you're going to be sharing URLs to, ima um, to images where the app will actually render it. And lastly, you are not going to have any security on the database on the back end because we're just going to have open read write options for everybody. So let's go ahead and check into the next video where we're going to walk through creating this application and I will actually show you the application in real time. I'll see you all there.